telling you man they talking about playing i'm pretty sure lebron been playing with his son for years they i'm sure they've been playing in all types of diddy oil they got the band bottle vaseline I, i'm sure they was playing and then to get their energy back they went to shannon's house and shay shay you know they went right into club shay shay does club shay shay have a waiting list they went right in club shay shay and had some possum sandwiches oh come on now come on now that possum tasted that's some tasty possum. Come on now. Come on now. I'm finna give it to you. Oh, come on, Shell. Come on, Shell. That's my Shell. I'm finna give it to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go, Shell. Oh, ho hold on. Hold on. I'm on the gram. Hold on. Who turned on my IG? Hold on. Shell. Hold on. Hold on now. Come on, Shell. Come on now. We gonna have to skip this. Come on now. Skip it. Skip that. <laughs> oh, am I recording? <laughs> oh, oh my God. I'm just like Shannon Sharp. I didn't know I was on live. Or live to tape. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, XDN Sports. Oh, my God. You caught one of my uh, secret uh, private conversations with one of my uh, comrades. Oh, good Lord. Wow. It's an epidemic. You know, somehow, you know, you're being recorded, didn't know it. You're on live like Shay Shop didn't know it. But, uh, my God. But LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James. The king of all us humans. <laughs> says an insecure man worshiping moron lebron james the fraud that he is the peasant that he is he wishes he could have played with his father michael jordan no but lebron james they keep talking about uh oh my god this is historic this is historic the first time a, 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 a an nba player and his son are getting down on the court sweaty like what are you talking about there are people talking about uh, LeBron James and Bronny James Jr. It's the first time we've ever seen a father and son. And I'm like, that right there proves you people never know what you're talking about. You people never know history. Only an idiot. Only a moron. Only someone who's ignorant to history is saying, this is the first time we've seen a father and son play together in the NBA. What are you talking about? That been happened. That been happened. This ain't the first time. But you people never know history. LeBron James and his son on the court in the preseason. In the preseason, because that matters. In the preseason. Oh, my God. This is such an epic moment. Where's my fire emoji? Oh, my God. Rainbows and fire strips everywhere. <laughs> yeah. These people never know what they're talking about. LeBron and his son is the first father-son uh, uh, to ever play on the court together in the NBA. What are you talking about? That been happened before. Now you're probably saying who? What do you mean who? The first ever, since I always have to break news to you people, the first ever father and son to play together in the NBA was LeBron James and his father, Delonte West. Hit the like button. <laughs> LeBron did, did this. Now, it will be something. Now, this will be something if if uh, Bronny got to play with his grandfather. If they somehow got Delonte West on the Lakers, then you have <laughs> grandfather, father, and grandson. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, man. And, and that right there is why Bronny James deserves even more criticism. Because his grandfather was an NBA player, Delonte West. And then his father, LeBron James, was an NBA player on EPO. Was he an NBA player or EPO player? Shout out to Chell Sonnen, another druggie. <laughs> oh, man. It's the preseason. And the frenzy of idolatry has already tipped off. You know, I, I didn't waste my time watching that game because uh, why would you? Um, you know, I do have a, a, a exclusive audio of Shannon Sharp's commentary on Bronny James' preseason debut versus Timberwolves. Check that out. And also, I have an exclusive audio clip on this channel. I just uploaded it. Exclusive clip of Shannon Sharp's phone call to Bronny James after his preseason debut. Please listen to that one. If you listen to any video on this channel, go on my channel 
I just uploaded it. It's titled Shannon Sharp Calls Bronny James Exclusive. You need to hear that audio. I, this audio needs to get around. It needs to, it needs to go around, be shared everywhere. But, you know, the, the frenzy of delusional people who don't know this game, but they worship LeBron James. So anything around him is is just fire. And, oh, my God, it's so great. And, yeah, it's going to be real fire and real great. When the Lakers start the season three and nine, tell me how cute this moment is of him playing with his son. When the Lakers lose four straight games <laughs> and they're in t the 10th place position, tell me how cute this is then. A lot of you monkeys, you sound like your mother. Oh my God, it's so adorable. Haters are going to hate. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like you people, if you can slurp LeBron James semen through a twisty straw, you do it. You slurp it through the straw. A big, maybe, what would you like? You like a big orange twisty straw? You like a, a lime green one? What color twisty straw do you like? And you would slurp it up and then you'd, uh, Swish it around your jaws and you gargle with it and you wouldn't even spit it out. No, you swallow it down because you want a piece of King James to be in you for the rest of your life. This is the world you're living in. <laughs> you people are sycophants. <laughs> sycophants and sycophants. Shay Sharp with a goat mask. It, it, it just never ends, man. Another season of this. Another season of this. And I'm going to eat off this carcass. I got to do it. LeBron James, he's, he served himself up to the criticism he gets because he deserves it. Him, his team, the whole agenda, Jeannie Buss, ESPN, the Lakers organization, Silver Slipper, Adam Silver. They've got this reaction from the audience because they are the ones who designed this. They designed the reaction that they receive. They've disrespected this game in every single way. Do I have to go down the list? LeBron, you know, they changed the rules in his era. LeBron James can take 15 steps. It's not a travel. LeBron James can push off with his forearm, his shoulder for 15 years. It's not a foul on him. But you do it, and they kick you out the game. He's destroyed people's careers. He's destroyed players' careers. He's destroyed coaches' careers. This is what he's done. He's single-handedly crushed the idea of objective journalism. If you criticize LeBron James in the media, you will no longer have a job. This, this is just some of his handiwork. The man did the man somehow escaped Olympic drug testing, which is mandatory for every athlete in every sport, but somehow he didn't have to do it. When they had the virus, he caught the virus. And it was mandatory you had to sit out a certain number of days. He didn't have to. He was playing immediately. And he caught the virus. He was still playing. Because, well, you know, the Lakers, you know, we got to get in, we gotta, they got to get in the play in. They got to get in the playoffs. Great. Any other player you had to sit out and be tested a million times, he got to play. Other Lakers caught the virus. They got to play. Look it up. The EPO, his manager, his, his business partner in an illegal gambling ring, yet nothing happens and then his business partner is courtside at the next game. The, all these sports are promoting you can't gamble, you can't gamble. So why do they keep running a commercial with LeBron James in a DraftKings commercial? Why is Tyrese Maxey, is, Max, is Tyrese Maxey, is he clutch sports? NBA, NFL, baseball, they keep saying, we don't want you betting on any sport. Not just the sport you play. We don't want you betting on any sport. Michael Porter's brother is kicked out the league forever, whatever the case. But LeBron James is doing a DraftKings commercial? This is the world you're living in. <laughs> and you will still have people. This is how delusion, delusional people are. They do this thing of, I like LeBron James, so it doesn't matter what he does. I, I will ignore it. I will defend it. This is the world you're living in. Idolatry. You've made this person your Jehovah God, and he is not. He's a flawed, clearly flawed, imperfect individual like everybody else. But the man worshipers at ESPN on this internet, you've caused this reaction. He's disrespected this game his whole career. But you will have grown alleged men 
weeping with stains in their drawers, leaving paragraphs in your comment section defending Queen James. Defend your man, honey. Defend your boo thing. <laughs> Cause ain't nothing like a diddy party. Oh yeah, ain't nothing. Ain't, ain't nothing like a diddy. Ain't nothing like a diddy party. Hey, come on now. Come on now. Hey, hey, bro. Ain't nothing. Hey, come on, man. Me, me, me. Hey, come on, man. Come on now. Come on now. Me and Brown, we met at a diddy party. Did you know that? Shannon Sharp and LeBron met at a diddy party. Did you know that? Look it up. Shannon Sharp had retired from the NFL, and I believe. Was it 2001, 2002? It was after the Ravens. It, it was, you know, the Ravens won that Super Bowl in 2000. And then he retired, like, right after, I believe. And uh, Shannon Sharp had went to CBS and so on and so forth. And he was trying to find his way in the television business. And right around that time, LeBron James comes into prominence. And they did not know each other until years later into, I don't know, maybe late 2000s, maybe early 2010s. And they met from a Diddy party. And that will be exposed, the details of that, and the pictures. There's a picture of Shannon Sharp with Puffy in the middle and LeBron on the other side showing all they teeth. Puffy's wearing his shades. Shay Sharp, he got his little, his little, uh, <laughs> he got his buck teeth shining on the camera. Shannon Sharp always showing his teeth. They met at a Diddy party. That will be revealed and exposed to you if it hasn't already. I don't know. Maybe it's been exposed. Maybe I'm late. It'll be exposed. And they fell in love. Clearly. You cannot deny Shannon Sharp is in love with LeBron James. And he's plotting to Chris Benoit, LeBron James' wife, Savannah. <laughs> Here's a joke. What do you call LeBron James' bedroom? Club Shay Shay. 